think being able to make my own clothes is something that I've really treasured. I still make quite simple things, but I think it's really empowering to be able to make your own clothes and make something that fits your body in the way that you want it to. Choose your fabric, choose your buttons. From that, that's how the shop kind of started. But I couldn't find really nice um, tools and things that were a bit more sustainable. So I kind of suddenly had this idea I could make something that was really unique and create products that would be treasured and people would really enjoy using. My love of craft came from my family. I was the one who was always making stuff out of paper or fabric or wool, just anything that I could find really. That's what I did. That was what I did at the weekend. I just made stuff. <laughs> and it's kind of carried on, I guess, throughout my life in, in different ways. I used to love going into craft shops and supply shops when I was younger. And it's, I suppose it's the idea of the potential of what you can see and what you could make. But the kind of tactile pleasures of, you know, beautiful wood, fabric, thread, the different colours. It is quite um, a sensory experience. That's what I try to get through on the website as well, because obviously it's a different way of, of reaching people. The way that I approach finding things for the shop is to um, look for things that are slightly more unusual or have a more kind of personal touch. We offer the kind of tools for people to, to investigate themselves and to grow their skills and to personalise things in their own way so that what they end up with is something really individual and true to them. So we're having a go at, at growing our own dye plants, which is all quite experimental and, um, you know, we're kind of learning as we go. Hopefully, once we can harvest these, we'll be able to work with people more locally and people can use the, the plants that we grow to have a go at, at um, producing their own dyes. And the other side of things is really to encourage um, more wildlife into the garden and just make the space somewhere that people can really enjoy sitting in. We've got some one day workshops, so they'll be working on a specific project or, or technique. And then I also wanted to, I suppose, reach people more locally. So we've started to do some um, social evenings where we've got like a craft meetup where you can just bring your own projects and have a cup of tea and just find some time to, to do some making really. Sometimes it's really hard to see how far you've come with something so um, you have to kind of step back and see that you know from an original small light bulb idea that you had one evening that um, something has grown that people really love and um, can be interactive with through workshops or visits. I do feel proud of what I've done and I think I've really kind of stuck to the core of what I wanted to do over the years. So I think as long as I can keep that as my focus then you know I'll continue to be really proud of what we've done here and enjoy the the beautiful products and the collaborations that we've that we've made over the years.